I did a video a while back on how to configure VLANs within SSIDs. When you connect to a particular SSID, you'd get placed into the VLAN associated with that SSID. This video has been a long time in the making and I did get asked why I never used Arachnus products for the demo. Simple reason is at the time I didn't have an Arachnus access point. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the setup in an Arachnus wireless access point and in a Ruckus access point. I'm not going to run through the complete VLAN setup as I've got a dedicated video which goes in depth into VLAN configuration. So I'm just going to briefly go over the setup steps. The majority of VLAN configurations within SSIDs are the same regardless of the access point make or model. You just have to tell the access point that it's connected to a trunk port on the switch and then assign what VLAN ID the SSID is associated with. As always, let's start with the router to configure some VLANs. I'm going to configure three, VLAN 1 being the default, VLAN 10 is the account and VLAN 20 is human resources. So let's go to settings and LAN and create some DHCP servers. So VLAN 1 or LAN 1 has a network address of 172.16.25.0.24 and I'm going to create two more DHCP servers. So I'm going to give the next VLAN ID of 10 and it's going to have a network address of 192.168.10.0. So the default gateway would be 192.168.10.1. I'm going to add VLAN 20, which is going to be the human resources, and that's going to be a network address of 192.168.20.0, and the default gateway will be 192.168.20.1. Once they're configured, let's move on to advanced and VLANs, and then assign the VLANs to a port on the router. I'm going to assign the default accounts and the HR VLANs port 3. Default is untagged and the accounts and HR are tagged VLANs. Now move on to the switch, we go to settings, VLANs and create two additional VLANs, VID 10 and name it accounts and VID 20 and name that HR. Now I need to set the trunks for the three VLANs. The trunk port will be 24. Now I need to set the switch port the access point is connected to as a trunk as well. This is so the VLAN information contained within the Ethernet frame traverses to the access point. Access points work at layer 2 of the OSI model and can understand VLAN tags. So I've got port 5 for the Arachnus access point and port 9 for the Ruckus access point set at both as trunks. Now we can move on to our access point setup. I've got a default Wi-Fi SSID called Cabin, and that's where I am now. I'm going to create two additional SSIDs. I'm going to call it Accounts and HR. Both of WPA2 appreciate key encryption. So I'm going to give Accounts a password of another brick in the wall. And then HR is Chelsea Dagger. Now we need to assign these SSIDs to a VLAN. In the Arachnus access points, it's really simple. I'm going to go to advanced and then VLANs, last option in the access point. In here is the list of SSIDs and I can assign the SSID to the VLAN. You do need to be careful here and not assign a VLAN ID to the default VLAN. Otherwise the SSID will be waiting for an Ethernet frame containing a tag of one. Placing a VLAN ID to the default SSID will lock you out of the access point and kick you off the network and the only way back in would be via a factory reset. But I can assign a VLAN tag to any SSID and there's also a feature here to add a VLAN tag to a particular wireless band. So I could assign VLAN ID 10 to the 5 gig band on the access point. So devices such as iOS devices that connect to the cabin SSID will probably get placed into the 5 gigs band and obtain an IP address in the 10 range. Personally, I'm not too sure what this feature achieves. Maybe for IoT devices that mainly operate in the 2.4 gigs band can get a certain IP address and everything else can go between both VLANs. I'm not sure, leave a comment if you have any practical use for this. So I'm gonna tick enable for SSID accounts and HR and assign them SSIDs to their respective VLAN ID. So accounts to 10 and HR to 20 and leave the cabin SSID as unticked. 
click save and then apply the changes. So I'm gonna to go to my phone and there are three SSIDs, I've got cabin and I'll be getting an IP address in the 172.16.25 range. I'm gonna switch over to accounts and input the password. Another brick in the wall. And I'm getting an IP address of 192.168.10.100. So proving that I'm on the accounts VLAN. Then I'm gonna switch over to the human resources SSID. So put the password in there, Chelsea Dagger. And once I'm on, I'm getting an IP address of 192.168.20.100. So again, proving that I'm in the human resources VLAN. So I've got a Ruckus R320 here. And like I said earlier, the setup is very similar in most access points. So I've already put the Ruckus access point on a trunk port on the switch. And now I need to go into the access point and configure a couple of SSIDs and assign them to their respective VLAN ID tag. So I'll log in to the access point and go to SSIDs and we'll create two new additional SSIDs. I'm going to name one Finance and the other one Boardroom. So Finance, WPA2 encryption and the password I'm going to just put in Don't Look Back in Anger. We'll go to the options down the bottom. See, I can put in a VLAN ID. I'm just going to put in VLAN ID 10 again and then press save. I'll go and create a new SSID and I'm going to call that boardroom. Give it WPA2 encryption and put the password in as Johnny B. Good. And again, select the options, got the VLAN ID and I'm going to put in ID 20 and then click save and that's all done. So I head back over to my phone and see I've got two new SSIDs, broadcasting, boardroom and finance. If I go to finance and input the password, once I'm on the network, see I'm getting an IP address of 10.101. And if I go to boardroom, See, I'll get an IP address of 20.101. So I'm within the VLAN ID 20. So it's really simple to create SSIDs within the VLANs. I just wanted to do a demonstration using Arachnis and Ruckus because I've already got one for package as well. So I just wanted to just demonstrate that. Hopefully this has answered any questions on the configuration for Arachnis and Ruckus. Yeah.